Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel High Mathematics. In this video we are going to solve this really interesting exponential equation, we have x cubed equal to 5 to the x. And on the first side this is a very simple equation, we have not a huge number, this is not like a powers, this is not like a huge powers right here, we have only 3, we have only 5, this is odd numbers, we have x as a base, we have x as exponent, so maybe the similar expression on both sides, but it's really hard to solve it by inspection. As you, you can easily check it, you can easily find uh, our roots 1, Two, three, four, five, but it's not works like that. In math, maybe you will you have like a very simple expression, but you will, in the same way you will have like uh, the very complicated solution. Yeah, and this is our case. This is our expression. Let's try to solve it and let's see what is the root, or what is the answer to this question. First of all, we need to know about nature log. This is our first step, very easy step. We need to know about nature log because if we apply na na nature log on both sides, nature log x cube equal to nature log five to the x. If we apply it on both sides. We can easily bring down this uh, 3 right here and this x right here. And for, of course for, for that I just write this nature log on both sides. So right now we have 3 nature log x equal to x nature log, nature log 5. Okay, this is our first step, we just apply nature log on both sides. Right now, let's look at this expression, 3 nature log x, this is a constant, this is a variable right here, x nature log 5, x is a variable and nature log 5 is a constant. Let's try to group our constant on the left hand side or just let's do that on the right hand side and our variables on the left hand side. For this, let's try to divide both sides, for example, by 3. If we divide both sides by 3, we can easily cancel this 3 from left hand side, so as a result we have nature log x equal to x nature log 5 over, over 3, yeah, so as you can see it appears right here in denominator. Right now let's look at it, we still have this x, so let's try to divide both sides by this x, because we, as I told before we need to group our variables on the left hand side and our constant on the right hand side, okay, let's divide both sides by this x. If we divide both sides by x, we have nature log x over x equal to nature log 5 over over 3. Okay, so I hope you understand this step. It was our first really important step, nature log, and try to group our constant on the left hand side, our variables on the on the right hand side. Yeah, our variables on the left, constant on the right. Yeah. Okay, right now, if you look closely to this expression, it's still hard to solve it by inspection, or it's still hard to find really great trick. How, how can we do this? Because we have nature log, uh, nature log x, x so inside this nature log, and x as uh, in our denominator. So it's really hard. And for this question, we need to know about really important and really interesting uh, trick, we need to know about Lambert W function. This is a really great fun function, it helps us a lot, so let's try to learn about this function and a lot of students, a lot of a lot of students don't know about this function, a lot of students make the mistake or a lot of students don't understand this function and in this video I'm going to show you really great um, explanation. I, I think this is a really great explanation because using simply word, nothing complicated, just simply word. First of all, imagine you have expression like that, a times e to the power a. Just imagine you have something like that expression where a is wherever you want expression, doesn't matter, yeah? And if we apply Lambert W function from this expression, this expression, this Lambert W function of this expression equal to a, yeah? So as you can see, where if you have the same expression right here, so as a product with this e, if you have a the same as a power uh, with this a, a Lambert W function of this expression equal to only our a. It helps a lot in, in math, so if you have something like that expression you can easily apply Lambert W function. But we need to, first of all, we need to create this expression that we need to apply Lambert W function, okay? First of all we need to have e, yeah? Right here in our expression we don't have e, so it's, it's kind of hard to start with, but as you can see we have x, so we can easily write a substitution, so x equal to e to the power nature log x. So let's let's write this substitution first of all, yeah? Let's write this substitution and instead of this x let's write e to the power nature log x. Let's do this. First of all nature log x over e to the power nature log x equal to nature log 5 over over 3, okay? Okay, what are we going to do next? Uh, we don't have right here any fractions, right here we have fractions, so let's try to bring this expression from our denominator to our numerator. So as a result what we will have? We will have nature log x, so we still have this expression, and if we bring from our denominator to numerator we need to put minus right here. So e to the power minus nature log x, yeah? Minus nature log x equal to nature log 5 over, over 3. 
Okay, let's look closely to this expression what we have right now. We have nature log x, we have e, we need to have e right here, and it looks like similar expression. Yeah, on the first side, nature log x, but right here we have minus nature log x. It's not the same expression. As I told before, we need to have like the same a on both sides. On both sides we need to have the same a. How can we do this? Minus nature log x, it's hard to, to change, hard to work with. We need to put minus right here, but in mass it's not worked like that. You cannot put minus right here. If you want to get minus, you need to multiply it by both sides. So, for example, let's multiply both sides by this, by this minus 1. Okay, as a result, minus nature log x times e to the power minus nature log x equal to minus nature log 5 over 3. So a lot of minuses right here, but right now, if we look closely, take a look. For example, imagine this is our a, the substitution, in, our, in your head, of course, yeah? This is our a. Then, minus nature log x, this is the same a. And as I told before, as you can see right here, a times e to the power a, it's really great to apply Lambert w function. Let's, let's do this. Let's apply Lambert w function, but we need to apply it on both sides. This is a very important moment, because in math it's not worked like that. If you do something on the left-hand side, you need to do the something the same thing on the right-hand side. Yeah? If you apply Lambert w function from this expression, this is equal to our a. In our, in our case, a equal to minus nature log x, so as a result, minus nature log x, equal to, so as you can see we simplify this a lot, we don't have any e, any nature log x, we have only this one, minus nature log x, which is absolutely the same, but doesn't matter, it simplifies us a lot, equal to Lambert W function of minus nature log 5 over 3. Okay, it simplifies us a lot, and right now we need to know about nature log property, because we don't need this Lambert W function right here, Let's remember about nature log, about e, about x. First of all, let's try to find our x from here, and for this, let's bring this minus right here, so minus 1 in your head, you just keep it in your head, and we write my base of e on both sides. This is a very important trick. We write e and then this expression, nature log x to the power minus 1, as I told before, we bring minus, and the same thing on the, on the right-hand side, e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log 5 over, over 3. Okay, I write it for what? I write it because we cancel this e with this nature log, yeah? We cancel it in our minds, and as a result, we have x to the power minus 1. So x to the power minus 1, it simplifies us a lot on the left hand side, but we still have e on the right hand side, doesn't matter, this is a constant, so we, we can easily calculate it, so Lambert W function minus nature log 5 over over 3. Okay, I hope you understand this step, this is a very great trick, I wanted you to learn it, I wanted to remember it, and right now, x to the power minus 1, we need to solve only for our x, we don't need this x to the power minus 1, and for this we need to bring this to our denominator, because this x to the power minus 1, if we bring this, if we change an order right here, we will have x equal to e, not e, as I told before, 1 over e to the power Lambert W function of minus nature log 5 over, over 3. Don't be scared about this e Lambert W function, because this is a constant, this is a constant, doesn't matter, e is a constant, Lambert W function in this point is a constant, and sometimes Lambert W function has indexes, so we need to put n, sometimes, yeah? So this is a general solution to our question, but a lot of you interested in the exact value of this, or approximately value to this question, and I find it for you, but one really important moment, this Lambert W function, of this one, in minus nature log 5 over 3, one really important moment, this function does not, does not exist in this, in this point, does not exist. Then we need to say that right here we will have no real roots, maybe, maybe complex roots, so no real, no real solutions, no real solutions right here, and this is this is really great, no real, no real solution, maybe complex solution, and in the end, let's try to, let's draw a graph real quick, let's see how this function looks like. Okay, we have a graph real quick. I recommend you to draw a graph to this function uh, every time, because, because it tells us a lot of information. So we have x cube equal to 5 to the x, so in our, in our case x cube, this is a cubic function right here, let's write it something like that approximately, yeah? And the last step, we have 5 to the x, this is our exponential function, and as I told before, if right here we don't have real roots, then our function does not intersect. So this function, 
this line and this line does not intersect, so no real roots, maybe in infinity maybe we'll have complex roots, I don't know about it, but no real, no real roots, no point of inter intersection, no real roots. So this is my explanation to this question, I hope you understand this explanation, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong, I hope you, you enjoyed this video, thank you for your time and have a great day, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures, see you in the next videos.